When working in RStudio, RStudio provides a way to save a lot of the files that you're working on, on all together in one package. Um, and that's called a project. A project is associated with a folder. So let me show you how I'm going to create a project in RStudio. I'm going to work on this folder on my desktop called the top folder. And it has several things inside it. Let's open up RStudio, which is already ready to go. I'll clear things a little bit here. Let me create a brand new project, which is off the, the main menu, rather. I won't say what I'm currently working on. It will prompt me to create a, uh, to associate the project with a directory. And here I'm going to choose an existing directory, and I'll browse to my desktop and find the top folder. And then I will create the project. Notice that it said it was switching to the project, and it looks like R has kind of uh, refreshed. I've now got the project active in the in the top right. I have the working directory is the directory of the project. And that's really key is that when you're using a project you're pretty much assuming that your working directory is that top level directory. You can change it but that's always the default. In RStudio you also get the file pane showing exactly what uh, what you're working on. And now you can do all sorts of things. You can load up data files and you can use relative or absolute paths projects make it really easy to use relative paths if you store everything in the project folder in this case I have another CSV file inside the middle folder And I can also create scripts and save them in the current working directory, which is my project directory. Let's run this so you can see that what I'm doing here. Now I'll save that. And what I think I'll do is I'll close down the project because I'm now I'm done working. I'll save it. So now I have no, <clears throat> no project open. And I think I'll go ahead and close our studio. And I'd like to show you where it is storing the project. So if we browse to the top folder, you'll see that our studio has added a project, or excuse me, a, a file called top.rproj. It's a project file written by our studio. But it also adds some other files. But to show you that, I have to go into a slightly different view of the, of the files, which is the terminal view. And I want to show you that uh, I can get a full listing of the files by looking at uh, this, this view. And notice that it ha we have a .rdata and a .rhistory and a .rproj.user file or directory. These are extra files that RStudio uses to store settings and the history and also the, the workspace of the project so that when you're ready to go back into the project, and you can do so by just double-clicking this file, RStudio will start in the project. You can see that in the top right. It will remember all of your old variables. It will pull up any scripts you had open, and it will even have your history. So a project is a way to have all of those things together in a convenient format.